All right, so outside now. Turned out to be a pretty awesome day. And I'm going to go with Dane right now. I'm gonna go cash in some copper and uh, make a trip to Harbor Freight. And then we'll do some work on the MR2. But hopefully I get like a grand for all this stuff. I had to do a lot of prep work, but I'll go now. Hopping in the uh, 08 Duramax. And uh, yeah. Hey guys, so check it out right over there. I don't know if you can see it well. But there's a BMW Bravia 3.0, I believe. Pretty cool car there. And then I got another one for you that's right up the road here. Um, let's just say that I could make this thing look awesome next to my Mercedes wagon. But I'll show you that when I get to it. It's, uh, it's a little bit farther up. All right, so here is the old school Mercedes. There it is, right there. It's even blue already, so I don't even need to change that. I don't know. It's probably so much work to make it roadworthy right that side of the On to the scrap yard. Six hundred ninety-three pounds total. Ninety-three pounds was brass. Five hundred pounds of it was clean copper, and twenty pounds was something else. Um, dirty copper. So for all of that, I got eleven seventy. There's a breakdown of everything. Kind of how it works. And then there's the cash, boys. All hundreds. They pay good at the scrapyard, man. No fucking around. Oops. No messing around at the scrapyard. All right, I'm over here at Harbor Freight. I uh, just picked up some goodies. I'll show you those when we get back, when we do like an unboxing of some stuff that I got in the mail today too. But uh, on my way out of here, I will definitely show you all the, uh, I guess it wouldn't be a one, two, three. It's probably like a, a one, 12 or a 108 yeah it's probably a w108 i want to say i'm not quite sure i'm really up on like the w's that i know and i care about but the other ones not as good with the numbering on there you go blue got the matching center caps on the uh for the wheels pretty cool car maybe a diesel who knows So, got some of the stuff picked up around the MR2, which is nice. Still a bunch of leaves around, but I'm not going to leave float right now because there's still some trash in the leaves. But first I'll show you guys what I got from Harbor Freight, and then we'll unbox the mail. So I got a welding cart, got a tarp for my sailboat, which not really car related. Got a SAE tap and die set. I only had the metric one, which is... More than good enough for the amount that I use it. Got some .030, or that's the 035. And also got some, uh, just like adapter sockets. I never have them when I need them. Got some elastics for the tarp for the sailboat. Got some magnetic welding triangles. Bigger magnetic welding triangle. Some new gloves because well might have heard got a cutting blade there's more than one cutting blade got 10 cutting blades got a magnet 
and oh here it is and also got a roll of 0.03 up so that's my harbor freight stuff i already opened one of my boxes but i'll show you what i got so i got this which is an adapter for the fuel pressure regulator on a toyota to npt threads so i can run an external fuel regulator i believe that's what's going on with the mr2 this is something I got so I can put a pressure gauge on, but then I realized there's one on my external um, pressure adjuster, so we'll see if I actually use this. There is a pressure gauge. First box from Summit. have a Holly pressure regulator. I got the black one because it was like $20 cheaper. So this is just a little pressure rag. Gauge is going to go into this. And then second box from New Pan or Summit. Got some paint on electric tape because I need that for some spots from fire stuff. I have a little rocker switch so we can do two step in the MR2. Have a pair of three ACE to 516 line adapters so I can run that on the uh, fuel regulator. And then these are just three T bar clamps for the intercooler. So I'm going to put that fuel regulator on now that we got all the unboxing taken care of. So unfortunately it got a uh, dark on me, but I had to go on a trip and get this. So now I have this uh, eighth to female street adapter. Be able to make things happen. All right, now time to install this. That's installed. I'm going to turn on or hook up the power, and then once the power is hooked up, we can set the pressure.
Alright, time to set pressure. Now the only thing left to do is try and start it, but uh, that's going to be all for now. Hope you guys liked it. You guys can subscribe, click the like button, check me out on Instagram at Laristocrat. But that's going to be all for now. Check uh, the next one to see if it worked.